In the parking lot of a Lansing restaurant is a reunion 25 years in the making. In the center of those hugs is George De Jesus, one of two brothers wrongfully convicted of murder in 1997. After making up for lost time, George spoke about his newfound freedom. We're extremely happy. We're extremely uh, overwhelmed, I should say, but we're happy for this day, and we've been waiting for this day for a long time. Moments later, George was a part of another long-awaited reunion with his brother Melvin De Jesus, the other man wrongfully convicted. When the judge told me I was free, I was real emotional. I tried to hold it back, but I couldn't. That stuff just started coming down. And I was like, man, come on, just be strong. And sure enough, I couldn't do it. On Tuesday, Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel and her team shared the story of the De Jesus brothers. George and Melvin went to prison after testimony from a third suspect, Brandon Gohagan, tied them to the murder of a Pontiac woman in 1995. In exchange, Gohagan got less time. Nearly 30 years later, Nestle's Conviction Integrity Unit used DNA evidence and alibi statements to overturn their brother's conviction. In reality, what we found is that he, Brandon Gohagan, did this crime alone. He was convicted, Brandon Gohagan, in 2017 of killing and raping another woman in very similar fashion to um, the case that George and Melvin were convicted of. I promised my boys that I will fight for them until my last breath, and I see the day today. Glory to God. Thank you. Up next for the De Jesus brothers is some quality family time. Melvin De Jesus wants to catch up with his now adult daughter. Melvin and George are the third and fourth overturned convictions by the AG's team, which has received 1,600 requests for assistance. We can't give George and Melvin the 25 years back that they wrongfully spent incarcerated. But the one thing we might be able to do is to learn from these exonerations and see what went wrong so that as prosecutors in the future, we don't make those mistakes again. A family wrongfully separated by the system, but united by a fight for innocence. In Lansing, Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.